So usually the Rialto sends me a list of bands they have coming up. Um, a lot of times it's last minute. I'll have a day or two to design it. After that, I'll draw something up, print it out in a grid, and then head down. I have the same paints that I use all the time. And then once I get there, I just throw the grid up on the wall and start painting. Try to do each one in about two hours. You know, being a public artist, it's for the public. It's not just for myself. I'm not just painting what's in my soul. I'm painting, you know, what's in a lot of people's souls, hopefully. Actually, one of the things I really like about doing public art um, is the fact that I get to interact with people a lot. Um, painting down at the Rialto gives me the chance to meet new people all the time and you know people drive by and say hello and stop by and watch me paint for a while and so I make new friends and see old friends um, and it's a really rewarding experience and it's one of the hey come here. and I've actually purposely chosen a studio space that has a roll-up garage door on it as well that's downtown so that I can get that interaction. I used to have my studio in my house and it just drove me nuts, the solitude. I'm not a very anti-social person. I had a girl call me one time and she wanted portraits of her boyfriend's hamsters. And I was like, well, I don't really do, you know, pet portraits. And she was like, no, 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 hear me out. I want them sitting in wingback chairs and I want one balancing a raisin on its knee and one holding up a tiny hamster wheel. And so I took that job. That one was pretty fun. And I've had people walk up to me just while I'm painting. And even if, if my girlfriend's there, like hand me their phone number and be like, hey, if you wanna, you know, what, how, what is this rated, <laughs> this interview? <laughs> I've had him walk up and just say, you know, hey, if you want to fuck later, give me a call. And I'll say, well, I've got a girlfriend, and motion to them, and they're like, well, give me a call if you want. And, you know, I've been drawing since I was a little kid, and used to make, you know, a couple bucks drawing things for people in, like, elementary school and middle school and whatever, and, you know, would always entertain people with my art, but I never thought of it as a career path. You know, at the end of the day, I just have to look at the paycheck and know that it's getting painted over in a few weeks and it's not going to be something that lasts. It's just ephemeral and, you know, ultimately on a long enough timeline, I think everything we create is a little bit ephemeral. So you just have to, you know, paint it for the moment and let people enjoy it while it lasts.